mine. Hello, hello. Good night, guys. Hello, Good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. Thank you. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining on time today. It is December. Christmas is coming. It is great. It is December. Aquí no nela, but we feel the vibes. Sentimos the Christmas vibes. Christmas is coming. I know that it has been a rough year with, um, well, the whole COVID thing. But um, let's keep our hopes up so that we can enjoy Christmas. No sé si todos celebran Navidad. I don't know if you all do. I do. Um, if you don't, that's okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, but I think it's a great time of the year, right? Hopefully, we will be able to reunite with our families. And I don't know, guys, what are your plans for Christmas? ¿Cuáles son algunos de sus planes para Christmas? Who wants to share? What are some of your plans for Christmas? In my case. Yeah. Just to share with my family. Awesome. That's great. Who else? Are you going to prepare like the big dinner, the big Christmas dinner? La gallinita, los panes, the chicken, the um, what else? I don't know, maybe the tamales, the, and also people have turkey, some people have um, pork, la pierna de cerdo, right? Mandar la steak. Um, I'm sorry? El qué, perdón? I'm sorry, pensé que me hablaron. Who talked? Alguien was sharing their Christmas dinner or not. All right, so what else, guys? Maybe the, um, I don't know, like the big pieces of bread, right, that you get for Christmas. Uh, I don't know. There's so many things to do. Y quedarse comiendo todos los leftovers, todas las sobras, hasta enero. Oh, it's so great. Such a good time of the year. And also, it is weirdly um, cold, right? Está haciendo bastante viento. I mean, that's cool. What I think... Lo que creo que no va a haber mucho es fireworks. Creo que no va a haber tantos fireworks, tantos fuegos artificiales, right? Cuetes, because, because of the money, right? Um, but I don't know. So, guys, it is nine with zero six minutes. I do see that we have Lydia, Claudia, Rocío, Ángel, Marcela, Maritza, Aunt Miriam, Saúl, Emerson, Ricardo, Ariel, Joel, Lisette, Carla, Catherine, and Katia. Awesome. We are 17. 17 people right now. Perfect. Excellent, guys. So, in last class, in nuestra clase pasada, in our last class, we saw uh, count and non-count nouns, right? And today, we are going to continue reviewing count and non-count nouns and how to use them. Y también vamos a ver expressions of quantity. So today, guys, um, so that we can practice estos count and non-count nouns, 
I have brought for you an activity so that we can practice count and non-count nouns. Um, les he quedado viendo the list, la lista de most common count and non-count nouns. Si se los voy a mandar, no se me ha olvidado. Um, but today we are going to practice. And let me show you. Déjenme mostrarles what we are going to practice with. Here we go. Here we have this activity, guys. So we have different nouns. Tenemos diferentes nouns. Como pueden ver, tenemos suficientes para que practiquemos. For example, advice. Y yo voy a estar preguntando, is it countable or non-countable? Is countable or non-countable? Y ustedes me van a decir, countable, teacher, or non-countable. Y yo les voy a mostrar la respuesta. So that it's non-count. It's advice. Why? Porque, ¿Cuál es la lógica que tenemos que seguir? Can you give one advice, two advice, or three advice? No, right? Tenemos que dar some advice. Recordemos que countable son siempre todos aquellos nouns que you can count in a simple way, de una manera simple. As one car, two cars, three cars. Um, one shirt, two shirts, three shirts. Let's see, one hair tie, two hair ties, three hair ties. One cookie, two cookies, three cookies. No así, one milk, one milk, no, one carton of milk, right? Y así vamos a hacer esta activity para practice countable and non-countable. ¿Les parece? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Cool. So, esta ya se los dije. So, let's begin with this one. So, let's start with Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Is Hi, teacher. Countable or non countable? Countable, teacher. Awesome. Veamos. Yes. Awesome. Why is <laughs> say one animal, two animals, three animals, right? Perfect. Awesome work, Lydia. Thanks. Now let's see if we talk about bread. Is it countable or non-countable, Angel? Yes, teacher, it is countable. It's countable. One bread, two breads, three breads for me. Okay, so no demás. Is it countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Todos la han agarrado contra Ángel, el espíritu de la Navidad se ha perdido. What's going on? But it is non-countable. Non-countable. We have to say some bread. Uh, of course, in Spanish, in, in Español si decimos un pan y dos panes, right? But in English, we do have to say some bread or a piece of bread. Algunas cosas que podemos ocupar para bread son uh, da, 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 some bread, a piece of bread, a bag of bread, right? Right. Excellent. So remember. Bread non-countable. Perfect. Bread non-countable. Perfect. <clears throat> Countable. Now, let's see. Saul, ¿qué sería cash? Countable or non-countable? Non-countable. It could be... <clears throat> I didn't listen the, the word. Oh, it is the, cash. This one, esta que está en la pantalla, cash. Cash. I, I can see only for the pronunciation because I can't see the word is maybe countable. Countable? 
Non countable. That's correct. Porque yo no puedo decir one cash or two cash, right? You know, debemos decir some cash. And what is cash, guys? ¿Qué es cash? Pagar en efectivo. 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 Correct. Correct. Cash. Efectivo. Perfect. Now let's see. Emerson. Yes, teacher. Hello, Emerson. How are you? Pretty good. And you? Awesome. I'm great as well. Oops. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're not seeing the screen, right? One moment. Okay. There we go. So, Emerson, what are stars or star? Is it countable or non countable? It's countable. Correct. Stars countable. Ya vieron que tiene esta imagen y todo, so they, it is cool. Um, so countable, why? Because you can say one star, two stars, or a thousand stars, right? One thousand stars, perfect. Awesome job, Emerson. Now let's see the next word. Now vamos a hacer lo siguiente para practice pronunciation, ya que estamos. So, yo les, solo les voy a decir, what is this word? Y ustedes me dicen, me dicen la palabra, for example, space. Y me dicen space, and it is countable. O me dicen, and it is non-countable. So, let's see, Lisette. A space. Mm -hmm. Not countable. Excellent. Non-countable. So, you can ask for some space. I can see some space. I need space, but I don't need one space or two space, right? Perfect. Awesome, they said. Now, let's continue. Claudia. A storm. I Perfect. think it is non-countable. Let's see. Countable. That's okay. It is countable because you can say there is one storm coming. Viene una tormenta, right? One storm. Or we've had three storms this year. Hemos tenido tres tormentas este año. We've had three storms. Countable. No problem. Awesome. Thank you, Claudia. Now, what would be this word, Rocio. Um, coffee, it is not countable. Awesome, correct, non-countable. Thank you, Rocio, awesome job. Now let's see, um, let's continue. Edgardo. Good evening, Miss. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Um, no sé qué es un... <laughs> oh, that's okay. ¿Alguien sabe qué es damage? Daño. Daño. Correct. That is correct. No. Damage is daño. Daño o caño? Daño. Daño. For example, uh, if you crash your car, si chocas el carro, if you crash your car, uh, the car gets damaged. Se daña, right? Okay, thank you, miss. So, Perfect. damage is no countable. Perfect, correct, non-countable. Here we have a picture of damage. The house is damaged. Porque you can't have one damage, two damage. Puede haber a lot of damage, right? Uh, for example, ahorita que tenemos las tormentas with the storms, houses have been uh, getting a lot of damage. Han tenido muchos daños. Have been getting a lot of damage. Or maybe um, if you don't uh, take care of your car, it will get a lot of damage. 
con lo de las tormentas siempre, your roof gets water damage. Se daña por el agua. Gets water damage. It gets some water damage. Gets a lot of damage. Mucho daño, poco daño, pero non-countable. Excellent. Let's see. What would be this word, this next word, Ariel? It's uncomfortable. Equipment. Let's see. Correct. Y aquí tenemos una imagen de referencia de equipment. So this word is equipment. Es como un equipo. Correct. Equipment. Excellent, Ariel. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, can you help me with this word, Jani? Wow. Yeah, yeah salvaje. Correct. And is it countable or non-countable? Uh, non-countable. Correct. Excellent. Countable and no, it is non-countable. Correct. Some wildlife. A lot of wildlife. Not a lot of wildlife. Correct. For example, in El Salvador, we don't have a lot of wildlife porque nos estamos acabando las áreas verdes, right? So we don't have a lot of wildlife. And what about this next word, Marcela? Mountain is countable. Correct, countables. One mountain, two mountains, three mountains. Perfect, Marcela. And what about this word, Maritza? A fun. Mm -hmm. It is uh, not countable. Perfect, Maritza. Thank you. So fun, and it is non countable. Correct. Mm -hmm. You can have some fun. Now let's see. What about this word, um, Anna, Anna Miriam? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Um, furniture is countable. It is countable? Yes. <laughs> No. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Why? <laughs> no, no, countable. Porque en español sí decimos un mueble, dos muebles, right? But in English, we have a furniture as a, as a word, non-countable. So some furniture, un poco de, de muebles, right? Or maybe a lot of furniture, muchos muebles. So it is non-countable in English. Yes. That's okay. Ah, okay. No problem. So we have furniture. For example, there is a lot of furniture in my house. Right? There is, I just moved. I don't have any furniture. No tengo muebles. I don't have any furniture. Me acabo de mudar. And what about this word, uh, Saul? The Bluetooth device is ready to repel. <laughs> Can connect the Bluetooth. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's okay. No problem. Um, so let's see. I don't know if Saul can't hear me, but let's go ahead with Joel. Help is non countable. Correct. Health non countable. Thank you, Joel. Perfect. 
Now let's see. What about this next? I'm sorry, course? teacher. I didn't. I... Hello. I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't know that um, the microphone. I didn't know that my microphone is uh, disconnected. No problem. But now it is connected. That is perfect. I completely. Uh, I accept your apology. Solo por la simple razón está perdonado y exento solo por el simple hecho de ese perfecto uso de did, didn't y de toda la oración correcta, correcta, correctamente. Awesome. So that's okay by me. I feel so happy. Perfect use of did. Didn't know my microphone. Perfect. Awesome. Proud. Okay. Let's continue. Um, so please go ahead and do this word. Uh, is, is the palabra countable or non-countable? No, Correct. Correct. Non-countable. Some information. No information. A lot of information, but I know one information, two information, right? Now let's see, Carla. Is incountable, teacher? Correct. Non countable. Perfect. Knowledge. Some knowledge. And what about this one, Catherine? Look, it's non countable. Correct. Excellent. You can have some luck, you can have no luck. Perfect. And what about this one, Katya? Neil, it is uncountable. Correct. Milk, non-countable, porque tenemos que decir a glass of milk, right? A carton of milk, a gallon of milk. Necesita una unit of measurement, una unidad de medida. What about this next word, Jose? Yep. Non-countable. Correct, that's non-countable. You can have a lot of money or you can have no money, but you can't have three monies, right? Excellent. What about this word? Um, let's see, Beatriz. Hi, music, um, not, not countable? Correct. Non countable. Let's listen to some music. Non countable. Perfect. Now, let's see. Can I please have Sylvia do this one? I'm sorry. No puedo escuchar. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. No, I'm sorry. I'm very low. I'm sorry. One moment. Laura. Hello. Hi, I can't hear you now. Yes. I, I am sorry. I almost. Ya lo había dicho. No conto. Okay. Perfect. 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 Estamos bien entonces. Okay. No problem. Correct. News non-countable. I heard it in the news. Some news. I have some news for you. Noticias, right? I have some news for you. Perfect. Vamos otra ronda. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's go once again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. 
how would you say this word, Saul? Uh, permission is uh, not countable. It's not countable for me. Correct, non countable. And that is permission. Good pronunciation. Awesome. What about this word, Anna Miriam? Um, progress is not countable. Correct. That is great. Non countable. Making progress. I'm making some progress now. Correct. What about this one, Angel? Um, no uh, countable. Correct. Non countable. Luggage. Luggage is um, las maletas que llevamos, right? O la paquetería que llevamos. That's luggage. Your luggage. Awesome. Y porque es uncountable. No es, no es posible contar. Oh, ok. Uh, ¿Cómo no? Porque la maleta como tal, um, porque luggage es la palabra para equipaje. Mucho equipaje, poco equipaje. Y la maleta como tal se llama... Ah. Ya. Yeah. En la maleta como tal se puede okay. llamar, por ejemplo, suitcase. Yeah. Correct. Suitcase. Uh -huh, sí, sí. Baggage, etc. Ok, thanks. Awesome. Now let's continue. How would you say this next word? Um, Ariel. I think that is uncountable. Correct. Countable or non countable? Countable. Uh, countable. Uh. Yes. Because you can do one program, two programs, three programs, four programs. That's yes. okay. No problem. Estamos aprendiendo. That's okay. Yes. And how would you say this word, Claudia? Research. And it is uncountable. Correct. Non-countable. You can do some research. The pronunciation for this word is research. Investigación, right? I don't know how to do that, but I can research about it. I can do some research. Excellent. Thank you, Claudia. What about this one, Edgardo? Rice is not countable. Correct. Awesome. Why? Because you have to say a bowl of rice, a little bit of rice, some rice, etc. What about this word, uh, Emerson? Safety, it's maybe non countable. Let's see. Correct, non countable. I need I need to feel a lot of safety. There is not a lot of safety in the city. No hay mucha seguridad en la ciudad. There's not a lot of safety. Perfect. Safety. Ah, oh, very important. Acaba de escuchar. So, um, safety, la palabra para seguridad, right? There is not a lot of safety. No hay mucha seguridad. Si queremos decir que no es seguro, something, uh, the city is not safe. No es segura, right? Mm. Seguro como adjetivo. The city is not safe. O, there is not safety. 
there's not, for example, there's not enough safety measures in the building. No hay suficientes medidas de seguridad en el edificio. Safety measures, medidas de seguridad. Safety, seguridad. Y safe, seguro. ¿Sí? Okay. Awesome. Now, how would you say this next word? Uh, Joel. Peace is not countable. Correct. Non countable. Excellent, Joel. Thank you. You're welcome. And how would you say this next word, Jose? Is countable. Let's see. Non countable. Mm -mm -mm. It is non countable. I need to buy some software or we have a lot of software available. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how would you say this word, Carla? Is countable, teacher? Correct. One. Three, one tree, two, three, two trees, three trees, four trees, five trees. And what about this one, Catherine? Stuff is, it's uncountable. Correct. Stuff, non countable. Now, stuff se puede referir a dos cosas. Como cosas, literalmente stuff, decimos que there's a lot of stuff. Hay un montón de cosas. There's a lot of stuff. Y también, you can stuff something. For example, you can stuff a pillow. Podemos llenar una almohada. Or you can stuff a teddy bear, un osito de esos de peluche. You can stuff them. Podemos Como rellenar. rellenar. Correct. That's stuff. Mm. También se le llama stuffing, al relleno que se le hace las gallinas, a los pavos, lo que se les pone dentro, right? Relleno. So that's stuffing. So esas son esas dos palabras. Stuff, un montón de cosas. Like there's a lot of stuff there. And stuffing, the, el verbo de rellenar, right? En ambos casos es non-countable. What about this one? Katia? Traffic. It is not countable. Correct. Non countable. There is a lot of traffic, or there is uh, not a lot of traffic. What about this one, Lydia? Language. Uh... <laughs> That's okay, Lydia. That's okay. For example, I know I would like to say that I know three languages, pero no me siento suficiente confident para decir que I know three languages. Pero sé un poquito de francés. So I, por, por efectos del de, ejemplo, digamos que I know three languages. Some people know up to five languages. I have a coworker. Tengo una compañera de trabajo. Um, I have a coworker who knows. Uh, she knows how to speak Russian, English, French. Um, uh, no, it's not Chinese, Japanese, and like another tongue derivada del japonés siempre, uh, like two of like the tongues of Japanese. Poliglota. 
yeah it's incredible and she um but uh she started to learn those languages since she was a baby vivió un tiempo en japón so it's like obviously she knows japanese right but, but still solo learning russian that's a lot for me el ruso mis respetos to anyone who knows russian so but yeah and japanese but i mean she lived there so it's different but she knows five languages it's amazing she's she's amazing uh now let's continue so it is countable languages two languages three languages perfect let's see uh what about this one lisa water i'm not countable correct Awesome, non-countable. Is your last name Miguel? Miguel is su apellido? Sí, así es. Wow, I love that. I love that last name. I've always loved that last name. That's great. It's a great last name. Let's see. Let's continue. And what about this one, Marcela? Weather Correct. is non-countable. Yep. Correct. Non-countable. Excellent. What about this one, Maritza? Word is now countable perfect non-countable i have a lot of work to do i have so much work to do perfect non-countable what about this one beatrice passport is countable let's see correct you can have one passport, two passports, three passports, right? Mm -hmm. One active one y los otros que están expired or whatever. Correct. I have a question. Yeah. Um, ¿Por qué en la anterior no se puede decir dos trabajos? Oh, job, oh because o... that's job. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sí, yeah. Work es el verbo de trabajar, right? I work at my job. Yo trabajo en mi empleo, right? Okay. Thanks. Perfect. Yes. Y para jobs, sí. Sí sería accountable, right? One job, two jobs, three jobs. Okay. Perfect. And what about this one? What about this one, Silvia? Oh, which one? I'm sorry. What would it be? It's not countable. Perfect. Correct. Non countable. Happiness. Felicidad. Yeah. And finally, what about this one, Jenny? It's uh, non countable. Countable. Countable, that's correct. <laughs> One house, two houses, One. three houses, four houses. Perfect. Awesome, guys. So, let me ask you guys. Les gustaría que les enviara este link so that you can practice the flashcards, estas tarjetas, yes. con countable? Yes. Awesome. Yes, teacher, please. Yes, please. Yes, teacher. Awesome, guys. I will send you the link. Um, si les va a pedir que se creen una cuenta, but you can just like, it takes two minutes. And uh, if you like this activity, podemos trabajar con esta, uh, with this game or, or activity or whatever you want to call it, para otros topics también. Y también cuando estemos haciendo el review, um, el review para el, el, los midterm tests y para el final exam, so we can start it with this, si les ha gustado la actividad. Yeah. Yeah. 
cool awesome all right guys so i will send you the link les enviaré este link for that and right now before we can continue with that i would like to ask you guys is there any question um that you have or are there any questions that you have about countables and non-countables cuando usar many much less fewer todo lo que hemos estado viendo después de este practice yes no yes no Or is everything uh, well? Todo está bien. Do you understand everything so far? Se comprende todo lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita. Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. That's great. I'm glad to Anything hear that. All right, guys. Perfect. In that case, let me go ahead and show you this. No, vamos a pasar aún al siguiente tema, but I do want to show you this. Let's see, just one moment. Blah, 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 blah. ¿Qué es lo que les envié previously a WhatsApp? Me parece que se los envía a WhatsApp, but let me know. Here we go, this one. Me parece que se los envía, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. So, yes. what we're going to do is we are going to review the expressions. Vamos a ver nuevamente aquí para review everything and be sure about everything. So, for example, que para uncountables, vamos a usar much, para countables, many. I want to ask you guys, ¿hay alguna palabra de las que vean aquí que no conozcan, that you don't know of? Yo, teacher, esa de quite. Why? Mm, perfect. Excellent. This one, right? This one, right? Right. Awesome. Okay, so quiet. Para no confundirse con quiet. Esto es quiet. Mm -hmm. Y esto es quiet, right? ¿Qué es quiet, guys? Silencio. Silencio, Silencio. correct. Correct. Or silencio, right? Keep quiet or quiet, dependiendo de cómo lo digamos. Y quiet yeah. es una expresión que vamos a ocupar como para una medida. So, if I say it is quite a lot of information. It is quite, um, it is quite cold today. Está un tanto. Para eso nos sirve el quiet. It is quite es como es bastante. Un, un tanto. Mm -hmm. No, es como un tanto, uh, okay. un poco. It is quite cold today. Está un poco fresco, un poco helado el día de hoy. That's quite a lot of information. Eso es un, un, un tanto bastante de información, right? It's quite a lot. Um, it can be yeah. quite stressing working 10 hours a day. It can be... For example, puedo decir, being a doctor, ser un doctor, can be quite stressing. Puede ser un tanto estresante, right? Can be quite stressing. Quite stressing. Correct. Excellent. And leaving, studying abroad 
can get quite expensive. Estudiar en el extranjero, abroad, en el extranjero, okay. can get quite expensive. Puede volverse un tanto caro, right? Quite expensive. So it is not extremely, no es una cantidad extrema, pero tampoco es mínima, right? Es un tanto. Es como un punto okay. medio, right? No sabemos qué tanto de un tanto, porque ese es el punto, right? Que son non-countables. Entonces no hay una cantidad fija. Is that quite a bit of information? Y en cuanto a pretty much, ¿es similar? Mm, parecido a pretty much, yeah, for example. Uh, solo que pretty much no es una unidad de medida, right? Es algo como un comparativo. It's pretty much the same, por decirlo así. Ok. Un uso de pretty much podría ser, for example, um, let's see, I think both cars are pretty much the same. Creo que ambos carros son más o menos lo mismo, o casi, lo, casi que lo mismo. So, are pretty much the same, más o menos lo mismo, right? Okay. Excellent. Awesome question. Recuerden, guys, todas las, todas las questions son válidas. We are all learning. Y siempre queremos aprender de todo lo posible. So, all questions are valid. ¿Qué otra expression vemos aquí que no conozcamos? Great deal. Mm, okay, a great deal of information. So a great deal, ¿qué les suena? ¿A un montón o a un poco? Uh, un Bastante. Montón. Correct. So a great deal of information, it's a really big amount of information. For example, there is a great deal of money involved. Hay una gran cantidad de dinero en, envuelta en esto, right? Involved, uh, puesta en la mesa. Um, otro ejemplo, there is a great deal of people outside. Hay una gran cantidad de gente afuera. Es una expresión que se ocupa para decir que hay mucho de algo. There's a great deal of money. People, money. Vemos que todos estos son uncountables. Los usamos siempre para uncountables. Ahora. Tenemos también, por ejemplo, nouns como people, que también les podemos dar un número exacto. For example, there are 2,000 people, are people outside. Pero esto solo es porque el plural de person es people. Entonces, no es que people como tal, usado solo, sea countable, sino que aquí sí se le puede usar como countable porque está siendo como el plural de person. Pero no, no, no nos frustremos con esto. O sea, esas son cosas que se van quedando. Eh, y no es que sea una regla ni nada, sino que solo es algo que uno va aprendiendo con medio del idioma. So, en esta situación, por eso se puede tratar people como countable, porque está funcionando como el plural de person. ¿Ya? Pues no vamos a decir persons, sino people. There is one person and there are 20 people, for example. 
así no vamos a decir una cantidad exacta, así que, no que solo queremos decir que un montón de gente, there's a lot of people, a great deal of people, quite a lot of people, y así. ¿Sí? Pero les pongo lo de, lo de 2,000 people por si llegan a verlo y dicen, hey, y que people no eran countable, para que sepan que por eso es. Awesome. ¿Qué otra expresión ven, guys? Miss. Yes. And down in the expression beats quits. I don't oh. know that's what it means. Oh, of course. Perfect. ¿Alguien sabe qué es biscuit? Es como una galleta, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Correct. Biscuit se le dice a todas esas galletas que las acompañamos con una uh, bebida. Por ejemplo, um, coffee and biscuits, tea and biscuits o no necesariamente galletas, sino como un pedazo de pan pequeñito para acompañar una bebida. That's a biscuit. Excellent. Of course. Y se pronuncia biscuit. 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 Perfect. Veíamos en un módulo una vez um, that um, in English we have biscuits, right? Que es como un bocadillo, viene haciendo como el bocadillo, right? Biscuits, Biscuit. traditionally used para acompañar coffee or tea. Y también hay cookies, usualmente son dulces. And crackers, todas esas galletas saladas, right? Cookies, crackers, and biscuits. Can be either um, sweet or savory. Y las crackers son savory. And biscuits can be either. Pueden ser sweet or savory. Cualquiera de los dos. Son esos pequeños detallitos que may seem like non-important, como que no son importantes, pero they can help us sound um, more native, right? Pueden ayudarnos a sonar más nativos or whatever. Yeah. ¿Qué otra yeah. palabra, guys? Or ¿qué otra expression? Worse. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where, 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 where? Done the side now. No there, there is no money in my purse. Oh, okay. There is no money in my purse. ¿Qué es purse, guys? Bolso. Correct. Mm. That is correct. In my purse. In my um, bolsa. In my bolso. Purse. Mm -hmm. um, se le llama normalmente a las carteras de las mujeres, right? En la cartera sí que nos ponemos al hombro o que nos ponemos aquí. That's a purse. And then, la billetera, where the money goes, eh, puede ser purse también, si es de las que usamos nosotras las mujeres grandotas, o la billetera tradicional que es wallet, la de los hombres, wallet. Que no es que sea de hombre o de mujer, right, pero que tradicionalmente usan los hombres y las que usan las mujeres, purse and wallet. Purse and wallet. Son las dos palabras que ocupamos. Excellent. Now, ¿qué otra palabra, guys? ¿Qué más vemos por aquí? Now, Plenty. Sí. All right. 
plenty es otra palabra que nos sirve como a lot of. A lot of. Como, una, como un um, sinónimo, right? A lot of. Eso significa a lot of. There are plenty of bottles in the fridge. Hay muchas botellas en la refrigeradora. Uh, there is plenty of information in report. Hay mucha información en el report. ¿Qué podemos ver? ¿Qué es lo que cambia? What word, um, I'm sorry, what auxiliary verb do we use? There are. And there is. ¿Qué fue lo que dijimos la vez anterior? Right, guys? Para uh, countables usamos are y para uncountables usamos is. Que era lo que las diferencias que mencionábamos ayer. ¿Sí? Perfect. ¿Qué otra palabra, guys? Todos estos se pueden usar con countables o non-countables, pero se usan de las diferentes maneras, como vemos que se usa are para countables y es para non-countables. Veamos algunos ejemplos. For example, can I please have Marcela read this one? There are not any biscuits left. Excellent. There are not any biscuits left. Ya no hay biscuits, right? Ya no hay. Y si lo decimos en una versión para non-countables, ¿cómo podríamos decirlo, Maritza, con este? There is not any biscuits. No, oh, siempre esto solo hay que leer esta oración. There is not any water. Ah, there is not any water in the sink. Correct. There is not any water in the sink. Viendo cómo God se usa. Is... I'm sorry. No, perdón. No, oh, that's okay. No problem. Um, vemos cómo se usa para un countable, que es biscuit, y para un non-countable, que es water. There is not any water in the sink. Y there are not any biscuits left. Que era lo que nos mencionaban ayer también. Me mencionaban que los countables sí tenían su plural, algunos. Biscuits, dogs, women. Recordemos la diferencia. Woman, singular, women, plural. Mujer, mujeres. Woman, women. Women, uh, bottles, books, tienen su plural, right? Y los que van de uncountables o non-countables siempre van en singular. Water, money, smoke, traffic, coffee, report, project. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llevan su unidad de medida, right? No money, nada de dinero. Not any water, nada de agua. Some smoke, algo de humo. A lot of traffic, mucho tráfico. Lots of coffee, mucho café. Plenty of information, mucha información. And most of the time, time igual, singular. Porque es most, la mayoría del tiempo. ¿Sí? Now guys, con... Visto esto, ¿creen que estamos súper claros con countables y non-countables? Yes. Awesome. Cool, guys. So with that, we would be closing the topic about countables and non-countables. Y comenzaríamos a ver indirect questions mañana. And finishing section two, because it is very short, como pueden ver. So... Recuerden, guys, uh, seguir trabajando en la plataforma. It is very important para que no nos come el tiempo después. Um, and you can do it. Any questions, estoy en WhatsApp, or you can ask me here tomorrow. And good night, guys, and see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.